people are in need of help. I want to be there to help them. Neighbors in need as devastating wildfires tear across California. Volunteers from the Red Cross here locally out lending a helping hand. This is Coin 6 News at 11 o'clock. I'm Jennifer Hoff. As hundreds of homes have already burned, hundreds of thousands have been evacuated. Those fires burning upwards of more than 170,000 acres. And while crews work to try to get a handle on them, the Pacific Northwest now pitching in. Let's go to our Cole Miller, who spoke with a few volunteers who are now in Southern California. Cole. Well, Jennifer, as you can imagine, it's been a very busy week. Nearly two dozen people from the Red Cross Cascades are now working in shelters, providing care for those forced to flee their homes. They're doing everything they can to comfort them during these trying times. This is one of the biggest fires we've seen in Southern California in a long time. It's an aerial view of the Thomas Fire, the largest of seven now burning near Los Angeles, torching more than 143,000 acres. It is affecting so many people. We're talking about 87,000 people have been evacuated since this fire has started. Those fires destroying more than 500 structures. I don't really know where to start. And now help coming in from the Red Cross Cascades with volunteers from Oregon and Washington. What are you seeing on the ground there in Southern California right now? A lot of smoke is what I'm seeing. Um, a lot of smoke. Storm Oland of Oregon City. It was pretty dire. Says he could see the billowing smoke from the airplane. Just have a fire this big uh, right now, I think is kind of taking a lot of people by surprise. The shelter he's working at in Oxnard, just north of LA, housing some 120 people. We're providing water, we're providing food, we're providing information to the people here. I would say the mood is cautiously upbeat. And at the largest shelter, the Ventura County Fairgrounds, we're very busy, very, very busy, is Ron Burby of Vancouver. I've been here in the shelter helping as many folks as I can. He says they're serving nearly 250 people. We have more and more coming in every day. And after a hellish week, it's now a waiting game. Firefighters simply working to stop those flames from spreading any further. My heart goes out to them. And here is a live picture at one of those fires burning tonight. You see those hillsides just engulfed in those flames that continue to tear across the countryside there. President Trump has also declared a state of emergency there in California, clearing the way for federal aid. Both Oland and Burby, who you heard from in our story, will spend two weeks volunteering at those shelters. Back to you. Boy, the pictures really tell the story yeah. in this case, Cole. Thank you. And